um, this is like mainly the picture of uh, RNG terminals, like what is needed inside. Uh. There you have the like loading arm into the loading into the vessels to S bunker, and then we have the storage tank to store the all those RNG, and then compressor and vaporizer. All that is for like um, to um, gasify all the LNG. Okay, then um, since we have an uh, inside RNG regasification is a very important thing, so I um, found a research about like uh, infrastructure in Europe. They are like um, from 2000, 2005 to 2011, 2017, all those um, the increasing regasification capacity that can be kept in the whole Europe. It's from like 205 to uh, 73 BCM. Um, billion cubic meter to um, now currently they are they have 192 billion cubic meter so it's um, able to supply to like um, all the Europe like Europe or Europe then uh, for LNG terminal storage capacity uh, from 205 we have 2.7 it's until like to like this year they have increased until 8.6 Okay, then um, since uh, I said before, uh, Singapore LNG terminals, they have this, um, they are also building terminals. These are the like, um, the net that they, that they do out. So the route to have like um, vessels to trade using LNG um, bunker. Mm -hmm. See, um, like, you see, uh, from here, we uh, will like trade to pull out wind because uh, now LNG is uh, using, uh, used only in ferries. So, um, they are met, they have met out like uh, the route to like Pula Win, Batam and um Pula Bintan everything. Mm. So now we'll be I'll be talking about the commercial cost factor of the whole energy. So as you see, as you know also that um commercial cost of engine is one of the major factors that the ship owners or anyone would consider when implementing LNG as the powered vessel. And Existing diesel engines can be converted to dual fuel diesel gas operation, and the most three, the current three manufacturer that you we have right now is Rolls Royce, Mitsubishi, and Wasila. There are other there are other manufacturers in the market, but it's not as um, significant as those three. Now we look at the biggest expense. The biggest expense is commercial cost is um, that the cost of installing LNG fuel storage containers, piping and related safety systems, vessel modifications, uh, where this cost can be five times or more than the cost of engine conversion or replacement. Now, um, building new vessels. When building new vessels, it will always be more expensive to equip them to operate on LNG than to operate them um, with um, liquid with liquefied petroleum fuels due to the increased size, complexity and cost of the LNG fuel storage system. However, the incremental cost for new vessels will be less than the cost to convert to a similar existing vessel. Let's see now. Significant capital expense. Given the, significant, given the significant capital expense involved, the decision to convert an existing vessel to energy will depend on the potential fuel cost savings associated with substituting energy for distillate or residual fuel oil. The economies of any specific project will hinge on the three factors, which is annual vessel utilization and its fuel use, delivered energy price, and the vessel commercial cost. And factors which will make a specific project more economically attractive include higher than average annual utilization fuel use, lower LNG costs based on high LNG production utilization, and the use of imported LNG or excess production capacity in an existing LNG facility, and lower vessel conversion costs. Now I'll pass over to the Jason to explain the availability of space in vessel. So now I will talk about availability space in vessel. Uh, so for LNG, the storage tank we need four times larger space for the usual main engine. So the type the type of the IMO tank are type A, which are the consist 
consider the best solution with regards to the available space and the possible steel steel weight. And for type B, which is the partial secondary barrel. For the ammo type B tank, we have the LNG cargo contain, containment which is continuously working on developing new solutions for adoption to fuel tanks. Our careful engineering approach, cooperation with specialized material manufacturers and proven application methods put us in a unique position. For type C which is which don't have any secondary barrier. It is a form of insulation, fully bonded system where the insulation is sprayed onto the tank surface. The ins insulation is flexible enough to follow the tank's contraction and expansion. There's no space for accumulation of moisture between containment and structure insulation and there's no way going joint. And for the engine, we have the dual fuel engine, which is, you know, the engine that runs on LNG and the fuel tanks. So, however, we still need a little bit of fuel oil to start the dual fuel engine. And for the spark ignited gas engine, it, 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 it is an engine that runs, on fully, uh, runs fully on gas without any fuel oil. For, so for for the employment opportunity, we have factors like infrastructure. For infrastructure, we need to build LNG terminals, the highways for the trucks to move to transport the LNG. So we need people to build all this infrastructure. And for shipbuilding, right now we don't have much uh, LNG power vessel. So maybe we could have some manpower to help to build the LNG based ship. You know, everything runs on LNG and <coughs> we need people to build LNG equipment uh, Equipment like storage tank, pipeline to transport the LNG, store the LNG and process the LNG And lastly, we, we need professional personnel in the office Port and terminal to make everything run smoothly So right now, it's the question and answer Do you have any question? No. No, 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 yes, thank you. Everybody